Welcome to St Paul's, our spiritual communion service. My name is Gavin. We are celebrating the 19th of June in 222, as I like to call it, the second Sunday after Pentecost, and for many of us, Father's Day. So to all of the fathers, those who are fathering, caring for others, I hope it is a blessed day for you. So remember that life has a beautiful side to it. You are so loved by those you never thought would love you. And together we will form new friendships and overcome things that we never thought we'd get over. We all have chapters that end, but each of us is reminded that the best part of our book is still being written. And this is an opportunity for all of us to set aside the past and go into a new future with God. Our service is in the Anglican Prayer Book if you'd like to follow on page 104, but of course feel free to sit back and enjoy And if you don't have a prayer book handy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us glorify God as we pray. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray the Collect for Purity together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. In a moment of silence, let us remember anything we've done or said or not done or not said that we feel bad about. Anything that we imagine could possibly separate us from the love of God and let us put it at the foot of the cross trusting that God wants to set us free we pray together almighty God our heavenly father in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought word and deed and in what we have left undone for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray our collect for today. God of all the nations, when race, class, or gender divide us, convict us with your presence and draw us into the unity of your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite you, if you'd want to, to pause now and um, watch the sermon. If you'd like to carry on and watch the sermon afterwards, of course, feel welcome to do that as well. So our readings for today are 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 through 4, and 8 to 15a, which is about Elijah fleeing from Jezebel and meeting God at Horeb. Our Psalms are Psalms 42 and 43. Our New Testament reading is Galatians chapter 3, verses 23 through 29. And our Gospel reading is
is Luke chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. And I shall be reading our gospel reading for us. Listen to the good news in the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 8, and beginning at the 26th verse. Glory, Glory to, to Christ, Christ our Saviour. Jesus heals the Gerasene demoniac. Then they arrived at the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As he stepped out on the land, a man of the city who had demons met him. For a long time he'd worn no clothes, and he didn't live in a house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, what have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many times it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles. But he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside a large herd of swine was feeding, and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter them. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out to the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swineherds saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened. And when they came to Jesus, they found the man with whom the demons, from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with Jesus, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city, how much Jesus had done for him. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, it's quite astounding how we put commercial interests so often ahead of human interests. We tut-tut when we hear about the townspeople caring more about the pigs than the man who'd been healed. But Lord, how do we treat the outcasts, the beggars, the, those who are clearly of unsound mind or unsound heart, who are around us at traffic lights or so many situations, Lord, knocking at the window? And how do we respond, Lord? Do we respond with love or do we act busy and ignore them? and thus dehumanize them. Help us, Lord, to interact with everyone in a way that increases their dignity and worth, not necessarily placating problems by handing out money, but by, at the very least, engaging with people, smiling and seeing that they are human, they are your children, that they have your presence in them, even if they don't realize it themselves. May the Christ in us meet the Christ in them. You, the Christ in all creation. We pray, Lord, for all those who are fatherless this Father's Day. We pray for all those who don't identify with a loving Father. And we thank you, Lord, for all those who do. We pray that whether we be men or women, that we embody fatherhood for those who need it around us. We ask all these things in the name 
of Jesus our Lord and Saviour. Amen. I'd also like to share some of the words of knowledge. If they resonate with you, please feel free to contact us and maybe we can minister with you. The first one is be still. And the second is an image of a light, soft feather that has gently been placed on a white wooden surface. If that means anything to you, please feel free to reach out to us. So now let us share in the peace spiritually until we meet in person. The peace of the Lord be with you and yours. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Now let's share God's gift of Holy Communion. If you'd like to follow in the prayer book, we're on page 131. The Lord be with you. And also with yours. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God voice and praise. It is indeed right. It is also our duty and joy to give you thanks, Holy Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him you have created us in your image. Through him you have made us your own people by the gift of the Holy Spirit. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Father, through Christ your Son, our Lord, and granted by the power of your Holy Spirit, we may mystically share in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Father, proclaiming his saving death and resurrection, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate with this mystical communion his one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise, and grant that we who share mystically in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ may be renewed by your Spirit and grow into his likeness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom all honour and glory be yours, Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray in the version or language of our choice. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our spiritual communion prayer, from page 516 of the prayer book, if you'd like to follow. Jesus, may all that is you flow into us. May your body and blood be our food and drink. May your passion and death be our strength and life. Jesus, with you by our side, enough has been given. May the shelter we seek be the shadow of your cross. Let us not run from the love which you offer, but hold us safe from the forces of evil. On each of our dyings, shed your light and your love. Keep calling to us until that day comes when, with your saints, we may praise you forever. Amen. Our concluding prayers are on page 129 of the prayer book. Our triune God, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and the service of your people and your creatures. And help us to live this day in love 
to you and to one another through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, those whom we pray for this day and always. Amen. So, whatever way God has touched you through the service, give thanks to the Lord, for He is gracious. His mercy endures forever. So be at peace and love and serve the Lord and God's people wherever you are, this day and always. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much and God bless.